From this production, you have to expect a very funny story, uh, a comedy, mixed with something uh, more melancholic and, and, and almost dramatic. It's uh, the story of uh, the Rosenkavalier, written by Hofmannsthal, is a comedy uh, for music. So it's a story where um, the, the, the singers has a lot of text. Uh, it's a really kind of, uh, uh, it's a re uh, really like a play. And so for people that maybe does not know opera, I think what is strong, especially today, that we live in a society that everything is, is done with technology and the communication is always filtered with a, a monitor, a screen, or you have to download something, you have to connect yourself to something. Going to operate something that has no filter. No, you sit there, people are there, everything is live, there's no amplification, and, uh, and this can be very strong. And, and it's also stronger because here there is a mixture between something comedy and something serious. So it can be like a opera buffa on one side because Baron von Mox, he's a buffo character. And on the other side, it's very serious what's happening. And the, the, the journey of Marshalline and the journey of Octavian and Sophie, they are speaking about serious stuff. So uh, it's, a very rich, uh, it's a very rich opera. In this opera, there are many characters, and so there are mm, many, many different situations, and the opera is very fast. It goes very, very, very quick. And so what is tricky is uh, to be very precise and to be very detailed with a rhythm which is very fast. And uh, I try to create a, a sort of uh, uh, surreal and... Um, in metaphorical ambientation for the story. And so the work that we are doing with the singer is to, on one side, to be very realistic and to create a human characters, and on the other side, to play also with metaphorical and symbolical aspects. I have to say that I like a lot the attitude of the, of the, of the cast here. I think they are hard, hard worker and they are very committed to the work. So we are having a, a great time together. Uh, I really like the attitude, attitude of Lithuanian singers to the work, uh, and I think they, they have a discipline for, for acting also. Um, and for myself, knowing a little bit about the tradition of uh, some Lithuanian directors that I know also from Italy, I, I found that uh, Key, that link, uh, having, having seen the works, for example, for, of uh, Necrosius or Tuminas or Korsunovas, uh, I see something, even if this is opera, but I, f I see that the singers has some connection with this uh, acting presence on stage. And, and I, I like it very much. This is a beautiful opera because it's one of the few opera of uh, uh, the last century, which is uh, full of strong and beautiful music, full of uh, uh, emotions, something very, very funny, something more dramatic, really mixed together. So it's very rare to have the possibility to, to listen to uh, 20th century music for, for theater in a, such a very high level. And I hope to, to make a good production and that you can enjoy. <laughs>